This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Now we'll begin with the basics of the hardware that is in your personal computer. Again, a PC is just a, uh, a collection of hardware components, each one designed for a specific purpose and each with a certain job to do. And we're not going to delve in and get to all the inner workings of these devices, but we would at least uh, like to get an understanding as to their purpose and how they are used. We'll start with the processor since it's arguably the most important part, if we were gauging importance, of the computer. It's responsible for all the work, all the heavy lifting on my behalf. The processor needs somewhere to store information as well. So we have permanent storage in the case of hard drives, and then we have uh, non-permanent storage in the case of memory. We'll discuss the differences and why we need both of those and what they're specifically used for. I have to be able to tell the computer what to do, and I'll do that with an input device like a mouse or a keyboard. And the computer has to be able to tell me what's happening. And the primary output device for doing that would be the monitor. Uh, but you also have the output devices of, of printers and speakers and those kinds of things. And so collectively we just label them as input-output devices. They are among a whole slew of peripheral components. Technically a peripheral component would be anything that we plug into the computer from the outside. Finally, computers need power. They, are, they contain components that are all electric, uh, electrically driven. So without a power connection, your computer is just a worthless box of parts. Uh, that's why it's always good to check the power connections if we have a computer that's not turning on. And so we would just want to understand exactly what power is used for and the types of cables and how we get power to the various uh, components. Okay, so again, it's the fundamentals, the basics of the different hardware components that we have in a PC, and we'll be starting with the CPU.